Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative. Another day, another Squarespace customization tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to create a vertical line in Squarespace. It's another really quick and easy one, so let's just jump right in. Okay, so this one is really easy and fast. I'm going to show you how to do it in Squarespace 7.1, but it works exactly the same in 7.1 and 7.0 and should work in any future versions of Squarespace that they bring out because it's just a really simple CSS code. So click edit on your page. Okay, so to add a vertical line, I'm going to add a code block first. So in this layout, I might want to add a vertical line here just to separate these two sections. So I'm going to add one where this spacer is. And we're going to look for code. And here we're going to remove the text that's in the code block. We're going to do an opening angle bracket and then type in div class equals double quotation mark. And we're going to type in, you can essentially type in anything here. I'm going to type in vertical dash line. Then we'll just close out the quotation, do a closing angle bracket. And then after that, another opening bracket and a forward slash. And that should auto complete the rest of the closing div tag. So it should look something like this. Essentially, all of this is going to stay the same. This is going to stay the same, but you can actually put anything you want to here. And we'll touch on this a little bit more later as well if you want to create multiple vertical lines around your site. So maybe if you are thinking you're going to do more than one vertical line, this could be vertical line number one. So I'll leave my code like that. Click out and then just save your page. So you won't be able to see anything yet. We do need to add a bit of CSS. And we'll do that under design, custom CSS. And you can get these codes directly from our blog post. We've linked it below. You can just copy and paste them if you're struggling to follow along and type them out. Or if the code's not working for any reason, just pop on over to our blog post. We've linked it below the video and you can just copy the codes directly from the post, which will work for you. So what we want to do here is we're going to add some CSS that directly corresponds with this code block that we just added here. And for it to directly correspond, we need to remember the name that we added in. So where we added vertical line one, that is called our class. And that's what we need to type in here. Before the class, we'll just put a full stop. And then I'm going to type in vertical line one, because that's my class. Now, if you can't remember, you can just click edit on the page, open up your code block and just copy what you wrote here. And as long as it's exactly the same as what's in there, it can be anything. Now from here, we're going to add a couple of lines. So add a space after your class, and then we're going to do an opening curly bracket. And that will automatically also add a closed curly bracket. And we're going to type our code within these curly brackets. So I'm just going to hit enter to add a new line. And I'm going to start adding in some CSS. So there's a few different lines of code we need to add here. I'm just going to add them all in and then I'll go back and explain what they actually mean. So first I'm going to type background colon and then I'm going to put in a color code and a semicolon. I'll click enter again. I'm going to put in the width with a pixel value and another semicolon and click enter again. I'm going to do height with the pixel value and another semicolon. And I'm going to do margin colon zero space auto semicolon. OK, so those are our four codes that created this vertical line. So you can actually adjust all of these depending on how you want to display your line. This first one here that says background is going to control the color. So if I changed it to this code, it's going to add a pink color. Now, if you don't know anything about color codes or hex codes, basically there's a code for every single color. And if you want to experiment with different colors, you can come over to htmlcolorcodes.com. I will link that below the video too. And you can just play around with the different colors and it will generate the hex code for you. So that's what you want to add there to adjust the color of your line. I'm just going to change it back to black so we can see it nice and clearly. So the width is how thick the line is. Right now it's set to one pixel, which is pretty small. Uh, we can set it to three, 10, and you can see it progressively gets bigger. 
I believe you can also do 0 0.5, which is going to make it super thin. I generally wouldn't recommend doing anything less than one pixels because if you reduce it below one, depending on the quality of the browser or the screen that someone's looking on, they might not be able to see it very well. Now the height is pretty obvious. It's the height of your line. So I'm going to change this and show you how this changes. You can see that it stays the same anchored at the top of where that block starts and then it just extends it down. So if I change it back to 200 pixels, you can see that it goes back and I'll just quickly show you if you're not happy with where it's anchored at the top, just make sure that there's nothing above it. So in this case, there was a spacer here. I'm going to remove that spacer and I prefer where that, that starts now. And now I'm going to adjust the height a little bit. So let's say 250 or I might even change it to 300 and I'm happier with how that line looks now. It's more centered between my elements. So you can move it around just like any other block. You can move things around it. You can add spacers above if you want to push it down, but to actually control the height, you'll want to change the value within the CSS. And then the margin, this probably isn't something you'll ever change, but if I remove this, you'll see that it changes the line from the middle of the section to the left side of the section. So if you are trying to align your block differently within that code block, you can play around with the margins. But if you want it in the center, just leave it as it is now, and then it will stay in the center. Cool, I'm just gonna save that CSS. And we touched before on if you want to add multiple lines to your site. So obviously these settings correspond with this block and it sets the color and the width and the height. But if you wanted for example, a line on a background and you wanted it to be white, maybe you wanted it to be a bit shorter, all you would need to do is just add another block and create another class. So I'm going to copy this code here. Let's come up to the top and add one underneath this heading. Click on the plus and again, we're going to add another code block. I'm going to paste in that code that I just copied and I'm going to change the class name from one to two. Then it will disappear because we don't actually have any CSS written for this class, but that's okay. We can go in and pop that in now. So you would just copy this whole section, click enter a couple of times to create a bit of space and then change the class to vertical line two. You'll see it takes on the same settings and then we'll just need to update the CSS. So I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to make it three pixels wide and I'm going to make it 50 pixels high. So you can see you can have multiple different vertical lines around your site. You just have to use different classes and different code blocks. Cool. So that's it for vertical lines. Hopefully that was really easy and quick for you. Remember, you can grab those copy and paste codes from our blog post, which I will link below this video. I hope you enjoyed that really simple piece of CSS and you use it to customize your site. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.